Hi, this is John Krause with California Corks. Welcome to this edition of Zip Sips. I'd like to introduce you to this episode's wine, Khmer. It's a 2015 Khmer, a blend that uh, Bob Bagdasarian, who's the winemaker at K Kings River Winery, has produced. Now, Kings River Winery is just a little bit south of Fresno, California. Now, a while back, uh, I was introduced to this wine that Bob has uh, blended uh, with three true teeth staining grapes. He took Alicante Boucher, he took Tempranillo, and Syrah to produce Khmer. Now, I met Bob sometime back while, along with a friend of mine, uh, Lance Huntress, who is of Huntress Media. Uh, he and I were doing some uh, drone and camera footage in a few of the different wineries that are scattered throughout the counties of Madera and, and Fresno. We only got a couple of them in, but we were able to stop and, and meet Bob. And Bob was such a gracious host. He uh, walked us through the, his state-of-the-art winery. He showed us behind the scenes, got to walk through the barrel room, uh, the tasting room, and then he even took me out to walk his vineyard to see what he had planted there and what grapes he was using to produce, not just Khmer, but all of his wines. He does an awful lot of his own fruit. So again, he was a, a gracious host, but what he's done is he's taken three grapes, Alicante Boucher and Tempranillo and Syrah, and he's produced Crimson in the Glass, back to Khmer. Uh, it's an old Armenian, uh, in, rather in old Armenian, Khmer means crimson red. And what a, what a, a fit, fitting name. And it truly is crimson in the glass. It's such a dark, hearty wine, both in color and uh, just an enjoyable wine altogether. The Alicante Brochet is the uh, major player in the wine, rightly so, because of the uniqueness of the grape. And not only that, it's 60% of the blend. And uh, it's a unique grape in the fact that it not only has a red skin, like red wine grapes, but the flesh is red as well adding to the crimson color. Tempranillo comes in at about 20% of the blend. And uh, if you've never tried Tempranillo, well, think of wines such as Sangiovese, Cabernet Sauvignon. That won't be exactly the same, but it might make you think of them when you taste it. It delivers uh, contributing flavors, the Tempranillo that is, to the of leather and of uh, cherry. The third grape is Syrah. It also comes in at 20%. And this is intriguing part of the blend as well because Syrah ranges so much in flavor and uh, to your nose, uh, depending on where it's grown and what the winemaker has done from the time of harvest all the way to putting it into the bottle. It can produce uh, flavors of smoke, bacon, red and black fruit. Think of, uh, it, oftentimes you, you pick up white or black pepper as you're tasting it. Even some floral notes at times, think of violets, for example. When aged in oak, the Syrah takes on the flavors of a vanilla and baking spices. Now when you combine all this together into this crimson in the glass, you have a really hearty food wine. And it's if you're a red wine lover, this is the wine for you. Uh, think of a Food pairing, well, the intense smoky sweetness of the Alicante Boucher uh, begs for equally intense foods. Think of a barbecue, teriyaki, carne asada, maybe grilled portobello mushroom if you, if you enjoy a, a veggies coming off the grill. But you don't need to stop there. Uh, think of uh, dishes that use tomatoes and tomato sauce, and you've got a beautiful pair with this wine. It cuts well through the tannins, and it just brings out the best in the wine, and the wine brings out the best in the food. And you'll find this is a great match with a gold, good old piece of pizza. Well, this is 2015 Khmer from Kings River Winery. That's in Sanger, California. This is John Kraus with California Corks, and I hope you enjoyed this edition of Zip Sips. Until next time, we'll see you again.